So, so a patient came to Portland and um, many years ago, and and was was actually walking on a tour around the city, and and was standing by a fountain and found that as long as he stood by the fountain, he couldn't hear his tinnitus at all. He had complete relief, which which was amazing for this guy after several years, and and he just didn't want to leave there. But the the practicalities of of carrying the fountain around with you or living by a fountain are limited, so. Uh, so they began to do some research here on trying to generate some small devices, something that a person could wear, like a hearing aid, that would create sounds similar to a waterfall, because that seemed to work for this person, uh, that, that people could, could use to help get relief from their tinnitus. It didn't make the tinnitus go away. It didn't make it stop. But what it did was it gave them relief and at least some control. They had a sound that they could control, that they could adjust, that they could set to a level that they could tolerate and, and would compete with their tinnitus in a way that made it easier to live. And, and so that technology was developed and uh, first implemented here and, and those were called maskers. And, and masking, masking is a, a phenomenon that happens whenever you have two sounds that are competing. If you have one sound, you can bring in another sound and mask the first sound. You can hide it to where it doesn't appear. And you can do total masking, where it's completely gone, or you can do partial masking, where you just take away part of it. So that was a, a, a phenomena that was well known that was just taken advantage of for this clinical purpose of managing tinnitus. <laughs>